advice, we're back again. Tones can't, he's pissing himself laughing here because he can't believe how fast we're doing this. Fish, most important thing about fish, good fish supplier. Star Seafood, 100 yards down the road from the restaurant. Best fish, best quality, best price, and the nicest guys in the world. Check them out on Facebook as well at Star Seafood. They're absolutely brilliant. Tones, down here, let's go. We have a group of 40 coming in in a few minutes. Sea bass mackerel, that's what I have. I'm gonna post up again on YouTube, on, on the Facebook page, uh, how to cook the salmon. The way I did that, roasted in the oven, can be done exactly the same way on the barbecue. I'll post that video up. Anyway, for now, fish. Okay, marinating fish, guys, big difference to marinating meat. You're talking maybe 20, 30 minutes beforehand, okay? Do not over marinate fish, okay? A couple of different reasons. It's because when you put on a bit of lemon juice, it's gonna again pull out the juices from the actual fish and the texture of the fish isn't gonna be as good. Okay, so we pretty much do this before we get going. We've everything else done, so we don't need to worry about anything. Sea bass, and guys, you can't get sea bass, use sea bream, use gurnet, use any whole fish you can get like this, trout, anything, doesn't matter. Okay, I have here, lads, flat leaf parsley and a few chives. Whatever herbs you can find fresh on the day, into the cavity, okay? And you're gonna see why exactly and how we're going to get the flavors out of this a little bit of garlic again this is going into the cavity guys so we're not going to be eating a whole lot of this you're going to get the subtle flavor through it okay you getting a close-up in on that tones now what did i open there earlier on what was i looking for tones can't remember a little bit of pepper okay on top again no salt and cook it in the skin guys okay because when it's cooked we're going to take it out and that skin will peel off so easy okay I'm gonna put the ends of the lemon in here, okay? Because I wanna keep the tops for presentation. Now, ah yes, sweet chili sauce. Where I put it, Tones? Right in front of me. Just a little bit of sweet chili sauce. Now this is not gonna go direct onto the heat. We're cooking it in the tin foil, so there's no fear of that burning. Okay? Now, Tones, maybe move around over here so you can get a little bit closer on this. But basically what I'm doing is I'm just gonna fold it up like this, okay, and then in, at the end, as I said, in the salmon, you can see me doing this very, very easy. So again, fold up the end here. And think about this, lads. You've got everybody coming in. They've all got their glass of wine. You've done your meat. You've done your steak. You've done your chicken. You've done everything. 15, 20 minutes in the kitchen, and we have this done. Now, the other thing I'm going to do, which is what's great when you're cooking fish on a barbecue, is steam. And we're going to steam it with a bit of white wine. You don't drink water. No problems. Okay, so you're talking maybe... A tablespoon. Again, guys, don't get too caught up about measurements. Not when you're cooking. Measurements only worry in baking. Cooking is all about discovering, making mistakes, saying I'll put more or less in next time, whatever. Here we go. Three pieces of lemon on top. I'm going to open up their tongue so you can get a good look inside there. Come on, don't be shy. You zoom in on that. So when you take this out of the out, off the barbecue, guys, this is exactly how it's going to look when it comes out. Got it? When you're putting it on, a little bit of salt just as we're about to cook it. Close it up. And if you forget your salt, put it on at the very end, like I said there a minute ago, when you finish it. Look at that. One parcel, beautiful fresh sea bass. Put that on the side of the barbecue. Whole sea bass like that. You're talking maybe 15, 17 minutes. Not on the full heat of the barbecue. Open it up, it ain't cooked. Close it back and put it back on for another few minutes. Chicken, pork, steak, sea bass, and I still got more to show you. Let's go, Tones, wash the hands and we're gone. Okay, guys, boom, we've got chicken, we've got pork, we've got steak, we've got sea bass, and now we're on to mackerel. Personally, I rate mackerel right up there with coriander. I don't get it. It's one of these fads everybody loves, okay? So again, we're gonna stuff it whole like we did with the sea bass with a few different flavors, just to show you a bit of variety, okay? We're gonna put it in with the head, but some people don't like to see the head, okay, no problems. Tones, knife, fish, meat knife, okay. Head, gone. That's if you don't want to do it with the head. What I do is again, presentation is off. Tin foil, a little bit of butter. Now mackerel can take a lot of strong flavors, okay. But again, as I said, I'm not overly mad about it. And this one, I'm gonna surprise you. Horseradish sauce with fish, you're mad. Well, I don't think I need to answer that question. Yes, I am. Okay, but horseradish sauce was absolutely fantastic with mackerel. And again, right into the cavity tones, like we did with the sea bass. And when this is cooking, you're gonna get this beautiful flavor of the horseradish coming through. Okay, very simple. Now, as I said, it can take a lot of strong flavors. Just put a little bit of soya sauce, or Worcestershire sauce, that one was. 
Okay, it just shows you it doesn't matter. Wasabi paste. Okay. Pesto, we have just a little bit of basil pesto, not overly strong. And Tabasco, again, more heat. Anything to kill the flavor of the mackerel. It's like bloody coriander. I can't stand anybody that uses coriander. It just tastes vile, like washing up liquid. I, don't, I just don't get it. Uh, tones don't move. A little bit of pepper. And this one, because we're cooking, I'm going to throw a little bit of salt on it too. Okay. Simple. Exact same thing. Up to me, Tones. Exact same thing that we did for the sea bass. This is how we're going to do it. Okay. Close it. You don't need to get a cold cup on this. You've seen it now. Close it, close it, close it. Mackerel, strange kind of fish, does not need as much juice in there to make it steam. We want to more kind of cook this one out, so I'm just putting literally a teaspoon of white wine in it. There we have our mackerel for the barbecue. It's in tin foil, it's in a skin. Doesn't matter if you overcook it or if you get it wrong, it's not gonna overly kill it. You'll know better for the next time. And guys, as we always say here on Travels on Facebook, it's all about experimenting, all about having a bit of fun. A couple of minutes there, we've got five, six, seven different dishes out to show you how to do it. Last thing guys, thanks a million. Our Facebook numbers have soared. Thanks to the little competition that we did. We're gonna have the winner done later on. It's time to barbecue. Enjoy it. And let me know lads if you do it. We'll see you later. Make you want to move. You're dancing.